Alright, I'm back again today doing a bit of ploughing. I'm up on top of the big hill now, making a start. It's a wee bit wet in places as per usual. It's just what it is up here, but it's at least at least I'm managing to get a wee bit done of it. And uh, if I have to stop and move to another field as time goes on, so be it. Um, but aye, uh, plough seems to be turning over not too bad at all, so that's the main thing. If it'll turn. Uh, there we go. So I've seen a few comments about how my front fur was walking and such likes. The dog's trying to get involved here. Uh, but, as I said, I thought it was the wear balls. I'm still pretty sure it's the wear balls on the front fur there um, because I'll maybe be able to show you the now. I'll lower the plough, get out and show you. It's either getting more worn than it was before or it's just, I've never took note before, but it seems to be getting quite bad now. So let's have a wee look when I get out. Right, Walter, you stay here and don't touch anything. Stay in your chair. Stay. Right, I'm not sure if the fluffy thing's doing its job or not, but I'll soon find out when I watch this back. But, right, if I lift this up, take the pressure off the plough, and you will see this. Okay. Now, each mole board's supposed to be able to look down the line, and they're all directly in line like this. But come to the back here, and if you look down the line of points and the line of these, I think it's actually okay this way. I think it's when I flip the plough over, I actually think it sits alright this way round. It's when the plough's flipped over, that's the bother. Right. It's making me look like an idiot that, hang on. <laughs> Back. Flip the plow, Walter. I see it better now. There's a wee bit of rust in the plow because I've not managed to get going for a few days. But there we are, that's it. You can really see it this way around, and I noticed that this one here is looking seriously worn and that might be just enough to uh, allow this to sit up like that so if that's doing that that's going to change everything so see it better over here look down the lines of boards and then the front one sits up front one sits up, They're not all running together, which is not what we want to see. Anyway, let's get back to the plough, because <laughs> I'm getting cold out here. Stop it. You're a hyper wee dog. Anyway, Walter, stay. No. No. We'll see if this fuzzy hang on my hat here helped at all. Because uh, it is seriously windy. Out there. I'm cold. Like, really cold. But it's that, that wind is drying everything out. 
dad's got some slurry going out of the tanker at the moment, so that's good to see. Dog, will you stop it? It's so annoying. Stay in your chair. Or go on the floor. I'll shut that chair if you don't leave me alone. Right. The flock on because there's some greasy bits. But I'll work away with the plough the work the way it is at the moment. <clears throat> Cause it is doing okay. It just uh, needs paid a close attention to. But as you can see, it's actually making a pretty decent job. And then I get into the kind of wetter stuff here. This whole bit here is kind of wet. So obviously the puddle over there, you can maybe just see it. And uh, you'll see that bit here. So there was a uh, from winter barley, not, well, it was last year's winter barley, but it's from two winters ago from when we ploughed this field for winter barley. Uh, there was a huge hole eroded its way down this gully, so this is what I've done, I've ploughed over it back and forward, back and forward, back and forward just to fill the holes in, so this bit might be a little bit rougher than the rest but at least the massive shuck that was there is away you'll see more of it as we come over the top of the brow here it's not going to be the best, but after getting worked a wee bit with a, a drill and whatnot, it should help. So, kind of eroded right round here, Walter, leave me alone, right down round this dip, and then you can see where I've ploughed down that line there, and uh, that should hopefully help. Well, basically you were going to count the tractor in the hole that it left, like that was how bad it was. If you hit it wrong it wasn't going to end very well, if I'm honest, so. Eh, uh, that is what it is. <laughs> so, aye. Anyway, right, I'll crack on the new. The stuff I have ploughed, I think I'm sitting about 14 to 16 inches across five furs. Which is pretty good, like, because it's leaving a really good job, to be fair. Need to lift the front for a wee bit. Hey! I'm fed up with these blooming seagulls, they keep crapping all over my tractor. I, I, it's annoying. <laughs> I like my tractor reasonably clean, it's okay. It's not. The cleanest at the moment, but it's not made any better by these birds. So, hey, I mean, I'm climbing the hill, I'm ripping the ground a wee bit, but as I say, I'm pulling five furs here, and I'm getting up and down, which is the main thing. I'm getting across, and it's an awkward shape of a field. It's not square. There's a way down there to the right there and the gully there and then awkward stuff up the top here bog there wet bit here but i'm plowing through the middle of this bog bit there you can see the wet bit right across here i think we need to spend a bit of time and my grandpa was up here for years doing bits and bobs with drains but i think we need to get a big drain just put a big main one right through because it never gets any better um, well, I say it never gets any better, but this is probably some of the best it's been. Um, not pretty as I'm ploughing through it because 
I'm sinking through, but I am pulling through. So as I'm doing this, this will dry out faster like this anyway, which will be good for the drill when the time comes. And that's pulling through there nicely. Some standing water. I put the corner of the plough through that earlier just to allow the water out the pond. But aye, I mean it's doing okay really to be honest. Um I really want I don't know, don't think I'd I mean my dad's never seen this bit here any good. Um you know this bit here's a really boggy bit, you'd lose the tractor. I've been stuck down there earlier before when I drove into it. Uh, just a little bit too far. Um, aye, this bit's just absolute bog. There's an oil uh, oil pipeline that cuts through here somewhere. So we're in an awkward bit whether we'll ever actually be able to drain this or not. But Dad kind of calls it a green bog. but. I wonder if a wee kind of ditch through the middle of it would help dry it out. Because it's, I feel like it's creeping up into the field across the back there. And uh, this corner, I feel like you're getting less each year. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's just an awkward bit. It's an awkward field, but it's, it's good soil up here as well, like which is the most confusing thing about it. You know, you're right next to the moor, right there, like... It's weird how good the soil is when that's just there like that. <laughs> uh, bye. I mean, I'm ploughing straight enough as well. There's a wee kind of bend in it, but it's, uh, it's hard to do it right um because of the wet patch that I've been going through for the past I don't know how long but I think I'm doing all right at uh, keeping it straight to be fair so it's more than a more effort than I usually would but to be fair I think the plow set pretty good uh, it's been set really well this year I think and uh, I've not really had to fight very much with the plow to try and keep it straight so when you've got the plow set right like that it's not much effort to keep it straight the biggest effort here is just to try and not get stuck see me spinning away here but the flock's on and uh, I've got the wheel slip option on as well so if I slip too much you'll see the front lifting a little bit and that just gives me enough to get through and as you can see, it's leaving it reasonably level. Not so much over there, but that that run there was pretty good. And now all these sky rats won't leave me alone. So I kind of greasy kind of day. Dad was spreading slurry, but he's had to give up, and he's put the dung spreader on, and he's spreading a couple of fields. Um, just trying to keep going and uh, aye, that means that I can keep going with this if I can uh, before I have to spread everything around the farm with the umbilical uh, but aye, I mean I think I said before uh, for me anyway personally this is the this is the earliest I've been out with a plough and I'm getting on reasonably well um, so in a way we're ahead but I want to try and keep going because you just never know with Scottish weather what's going to happen next so I'm happy enough to try and keep going I mean daylight hours are still varied at the moment I mean it comes six o'clock and you can still kind of see but then as soon as it turns seven it's pitch black again so but it's pushing on, pushing on, and you don't mind working a bit later and a bit later. I mean, I've got lights, but... Aye. Every day that passes, the ground's getting a bit better, but there has been some drizzle today, which hasn't helped with other things. But for ploughing, it's okay, because once I've got that initial fur, 
turned over. I've got the dry shuck to use for grip. And then you just put the diff lock on and you can keep going. I really, really, really want to pull this fence out and just make this one big field. I feel that like this is pointless. It's, it's annoying. <laughs> Awkward shape of a hill. Take that out. And then you've got big long runs and a really big field. I mean, the, the hill's 30 acre, so... Could be a wee bit bigger and uh, make use of a, a small field below. It's really hard to drive with one hand, so I'm getting all my driving angles wrong here for getting back in. I feel like I've put the plough in too early. I have. Ah, it'll be fine. I feel like a heavier weight block would help a fair bit, but I'm getting up and down, so can't complain. I do really want to get my drone out, but it is really windy. It's a terrible weather for it, so I'm going to have to try and get that out later on. But I like using the drone on this hill, because you've got big long runs and you've got plenty of time to fly it around and get all the angles, you know, but... No this time. <laughs> anyway guys, I'm getting on anyway, so that's the main thing. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Uh, we'll see you all soon. I'm probably going to be ploughing a wee bit more still in the next couple of weeks. But it'll all depend on if I'm going to slurry. Uh, we don't have the barley seed yet. I don't think we'll be drilling yet, but that all can change. Dad changes his mind at the drop of a coin. <laughs> it's quite funny. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed that. From me and Maggie, that'll do today. Cheery bye now. <laughs>